While I'm sipping on my coffee, we're gonna do an unboxing, a gear review. I love camping gear. I love solar power stuff. It just gives me a feeling of freedom and empowerment. Definitely liberates us whenever we're hitting the road because we can stay off grid for longer periods of times, which means that we can save money, which means that we can travel longer. We're gonna try out something new. So we've been working pretty much with one company primarily, but we wanna give you guys an offering of different options. We wanna show you other brands and kinda of tell you our experience with them. So we're gonna be using the All Powers Power Bank, which I'm gonna unbox right now. Right now I'm unboxing the All Powers R2500 Solar Power Bank. We'll go into the specs in just a minute. We'll be giving you some more technical specifications uh, later on in the video. I just wanted to open it up and kind of get a feel for the aesthetic of the All Powers Power Bank. Um, so yeah, this is a 2500 watt power bank. All Powers, we were really appealed by that because our friend actually had one and we really liked the look of it. We liked that it was a 2500 watt, but it, it felt a little bit smaller than some other power banks that we have that are that are pretty high wattage. A little utilitarian pouch you can put all the cables in. Inside of it we have the main AC charging, so you can actually plug this into a regular household plug, your shore power, and charge the power bank that way. Maybe it's not that much smaller. This is a big kahuna. Alright. At first thoughts, I like how flat it is on the top so we can actually use that space when this is going to be in our truck camper. There we go. We got 67%. We have a DC output port. We have a 12 volt 10 amp. These look like auxiliary type of cords. We have one two, ooh, three, and four 20 amp plugs. And then we have a 30 amp TT30 port, which is our camper. We can actually plug this directly into our camper. And then for our USB ports, we have USB-A, that's your old school one, four of those and two USB-C's, which are the newer ones. So we have input and output display, the percentage that's on the screen, and 15 days, that's what it says it's gonna last you. Yeah, right, I don't know about that. So to turn on the different areas, you don't hold it down, you just simply press it like it's a really easy on and off. So if I know I only wanna be using the DC output, press it on and off. This power bank we're gonna be taking on the road with us. This is the one that we're gonna to try to primarily use um, while we're heading to Colorado. So we have the next month to just travel, enjoy ourselves, and we're gonna rely on this one and the solar panels that we have. I'm gonna unbox those right now. So this isn't the best fit, but I like how it's a flat spot so we can just put stuff on top of it. Let's see what we got here. We got a nice handle. Yeah, they're pretty heavy. They do pack a lot of power, so that's all powers thing. It's time to talk about the all powers power station and solar panels. We've been using them for the last month while we've been traveling from Texas to our work camping job in Colorado. And I got some things to say about them. Okay, first of all, the higher the wattage on the power banks, the heavier they get. It's a heavy power bank, but that's not unusual because most of our power banks that are like 2000 watt hours are pretty darn heavy. We're gonna be talking about the All Powers Solar Generator Power Kit. That includes the All Powers 2500 watt power station along with the 400 watt solar panels. These two items together have come in perfectly for us while we were traveling here. We were off grid for about 
75% of the time. So we relied heavily on the power station and the solar panels. And we wanted to use it for a month to give you guys a good in-depth review and how we feel about it. But we want to give you guys a few options. Maybe if you need a little bit more of a budget, but you do want to have a solar setup, you know you're going to be off grid, if you're going to be dispersed camping, um, if you're just going to be traveling the country and you don't want to have to rely on paying for electric at campgrounds, this is going to be a perfect setup for you. We did put the All Powers power station in our camper. We ran the cords outside to the solar panels so we could have the power station safe inside of our camper while we were charging it. And these 400 watt panels are amazing. We use them not only for the All Powers but for all of our uh, power stations that we have because they charge up super duper quick. I'll give you some specs on the all powers power station and the solar panels. Starting with the all powers 2500 watt power station, it has a 2016 watt hour capacity and it has a 2500 pure sign, how do you say that word? I don't even know how you say that word. Inverter and a 4000 watt peak. So it's punching a lot of power. And then there's a maximum 1000 watt with solar charge and that'll charge up in two hours. It charges up really, really quick. I'm actually charging it right now because the sun is out here in Colorado. And we have a nice snowy background and the temperature honestly feels amazing. Speaking of charging, there are four ways to charge this. So you can charge this with an AC input, which is your regular shore power, your household power. You can charge it with the solar panels. You can charge it with your car. You can also charge it with that automatic double, uh, what I was talking about with the AC plus the solar and uh, it'll charge up really quick. The All Powers Power Station features a long lasting Life PO4 batteries that are inside of there with over 3,500 charging cycles. So you know that you're gonna have this for a long time. Pros of the All Powers Power Station, let's get into that. It has a 30 amp plug. So that means that we can plug our camper directly into this power station, charge up our onboard batteries, use the camper as we normally would as if we were at a campsite with electricity. Hi, Wissy, come here. Okay, bye. It also has USB-C ports on there. It has the nice rubber gasket that goes over each of them. So if we did happen to leave it outside, those rubber gaskets keep any dust from getting into any of those plug ports too. I really like the size of it. I like the front face of it. I like how the plugs are organized. I feel like it's really accessible and easy. Um, I like the flat top because I'm able to use it as like a little table. I put my coffee on it or we put like our slippers on it whenever we have it in the camper. The cons of it are they, it's heavy. It's like it's a heavy thing. It's 63 pounds. So when you're lugging it around, you're getting a little bit of a workout, but that's not abnormal or unusual for uh, higher wattage power banks. All of our other ones that are that size are typically pretty darn heavy. Uh, another con of it is I feel like the display it isn't always accurate with the input and the output and I know that because I compare it to other power banks. Another feature of the All Powers power station that I really liked is the buttons. How you turn it on and off, how you turn on uh, the AC area, how you turn on the DC area of the power station. You just press the button and it turns on. Sometimes they take a little bit like you have to press in the button and hold it for it to charge up. But this one you just simply press it you hear it kind of like air up a little bit. Which leads me into another con of it is I feel like it's kind of loud for a solar power bank. I gotta catch my breath. We're at 9,700 feet out here and uh, whew, breathing deep sometimes. Um, so you do kind of hear it a little bit more, which sometimes I do like to hear it a little bit because I know that it's running, I know that it's on. Um, a lot of them will, the fan will kick on and you can hear that. Um, this one kind of will make like a funny little kind of sound. Um, it doesn't bother me that much. I feel like it's still absolutely worth the money um, that you can get both of these for. Especially if you if you are in the market for a solar panel and a power station kit, this is a really good good way to go. All right, now my favorite of the two is actually the solar panels. I really do like these. They have a whopping 400 watts whenever you plug it into your power station. So if you have a consistent solar sun source, um, it's going to charge up your stuff pretty darn quick. Um, we have a 400 watt and we also have a 200 watt of a different brand and we're going to like marry those with all of the cords and stuff. I got all of the adapters so we can have 600 watts just constantly inputting while we're here off grid. It's going to be huge for us to be able to have that. So um, even if you're just looking for a solar panel, these ones actually are on sale right now. They have the kickstands on the back so they're pretty easy to set up whenever you're putting it down. Again, the higher wattage everything is, the heavier it gets so these are a little bit heavier. Um, but I absolutely think that they're worth it and if you can find space in your camper or setup to be able to charge your solar power bank, it's just like the way to go. These are really affordable and they're on sale right now.
We've put these through quite a bit. There's a nice pocket on the back where we keep all of the cords for it. So whenever we're, say we're in a parking lot and I need to charge up the power station, I have those accessible right in the pocket. And uh, they are foldable, so they do get down to a smaller size and we just kind of slide them in the back of the truck cab. And we haven't had an issue at all. So uh, I do absolutely love these things. I feel like they're really rugged. They are IP67, so they're splash proof. They're not fully like water resistant, but they're enough for us. Like I just drop them in the, in the snow and they're fine. This is where we've been keeping our all powers power bank. It doesn't fit perfectly in this space, but it's the only place in our camper that we can set the power bank to charge through the window, the little opening with the cords. We have been so reliant on our solar panels from All Powers. They have been a lifesaver out here. Luckily, it's sunny about 300 days a year in Colorado. So our solar panels, this is a good place to have them. In the morning, I think we were at 15% on our power bank and we are at 55% now. And it's been probably two hours. Thank you so much to All Powers for partnering with Honey I Roam and sponsoring today's video. And if you wanna get 10% off site-wide at All Powers for your next power station setup, it will be in the description box below as well as a coupon code.